So what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be taking a look at Transformers Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Moon Racer. And Moon Racer here is something. She, she's something. Um, this figure is the epitome of why they should stop trying to do the female figures with the slim proportions. I'll show you why in a second. Otherwise, the figure looks pretty alright from the front. Obviously, it looks pretty good. She has two accessories to get out of the way. One of them is the useless combiner hand, which, there it is. It's a combiner hand thing. Doesn't peg on anywhere. That's nothing. It's useless. And you're seeing why there's a big issue with the figure, with me turning her there. We then have the gun. Which looks good. It's actually a nice little gun. I actually really like this gun. It's a really fairly standard gun. Nothing to say about it. It's just a nice little blaster pistol that, you know, it's, it's a fine weapon. You know, it's a fine enough weapon. It's good. It's fine. But, as you've seen, this figure has one hell of a backpack. Jesus Christ alive, what in the hell is that? And it wouldn't be as bad if it was just that. That would have been fine. Then there's this massive chunk. This massive chunk is what really makes the backpack bad. Because I don't mind that little bit. Because if you want to make it look a bit... You could do that. But that kind of also looks bad. I'm pretty sure that's how she's packaged. But... Man. And they reused this figure for Chromia and Siege. Which is baffling. And this figure is already part of one of the worst combiner teams, period, mainly because it consists of four of this mold and the worst Voyager mold of the entire Combiner Wars, Prime Wars era. That being the Alita 1 mold, which I don't own. But I know from anything I've ever seen about it, that thing looks awful. And I've heard it's awful. I've heard it's basically just Silver Bolt, but worse. How does that even happen? And I mean, this figure from the front, like I said, looks nice. She doesn't really have anything going on, though. She has a bit of wheel on her legs. And she has, you know, a panel on her arm. Other than that, she has, like, translucent chest. Woo. Also, I'm pretty sure that's an insert, which is awesome. Thank you, Hasbro. Do more inserts. I'm begging you to do more inserts at this point. I mean, as far as the figure goes, it looks all right, and her articulation's fine as well. She has a ball joint in the head, she can look up and down, side to side, ball joint in the shoulder, forward and back, and out. Actually, I think the chest is translucent looking at it, because the ball joint's translucent. God damn it. Ball joint in the elbow, which can rotate, but it's restricted by the panel. Yay! Why couldn't it just, like, do something else with it? Waist swivel, forward and back, outward swivel, knee joint, double knee joint, and a bit of tilt, which is nice. And a bit of a forward and back. So, which is nice, nicely articulated. Good luck using it because of Backpack City. Yeah, but that's her robot mode, which looks nice enough, I guess, from the front. Like I said, the back's a mess. It is a mess. God, is that a mess. So let's get into the transformations. The transformer, first thing you're going to do is peg the legs together at the feet and then fold the feet forward like that to form the front end of the car along with the windshield bit. Not the entire windshield, the rest of it's on her back. Next thing you're going to do is come to the legs here and you're going to rotate it around like that. You also have to rotate around her waist and then you can flip down that section. And that forms the majority of the car. And then open up the chest. And then flip her head into the chest like that. And that just disappears pretty easy. Nothing to it. Flip those down. Flip those back. Do that. Like I said, this figure is really basic to transform. She's not that intriguing to transform and what you end up with is a log 
There was no way to make the car mode, like, collapse a bit. Like, it would have been way better if this piece had been just absent from it in general. I mean, looking at it, it is a car, I guess, from Cybertron. But, man, does this thing look awful. And then look at the back, and her hands are there, and her arms are blatantly there. I guess you could bring in this bit, but even that doesn't save it, because it doesn't look any good. And the gun doesn't store very well. It just goes on a peg on the back, and that's it. That's all you can do with this figure's alt form. And it looks, like I said, all right. It's just fine enough. It's not the best, though. Of course, she is a Combiner Wars toy. toy. So, of course, yes, she has combined modes, which I'll show because I don't own the Combiner. So I'll just show how to do that. So the lag, you just do that, open up this section, flip out this peg here that's on the inside. Make sure everything lines up after the legs are pegged in. Move the hands out of the way. And then flip out the combiner peg. I don't have a foot, but that but that is the lag assembly. That's what you do with it. It's fine. It's it's good enough. It's it's decent, I guess. I actually don't mind the lag. Let's get to the arm form. So the arm form. That's it. That that's the entire transformation. That's the entire arm transformation. Usually they do something, but no, no, this is literally it. This, this is literally the arm. And the shoulder that wouldn't look bad if this bit wasn't here. The shoulder like that, that's a good looking shoulder. Nah, you gotta have this stupid piece. So let's just get to my thoughts on Moon Racer here. And I mean, Moon Racer's fine. She's all right. I don't like her that much, if you couldn't tell. The figure's just lazy and is the epitome of let's put the gimmick in to a figure that already wasn't going to end up well because Hasbro has their stupid engineering thing. With the female figures to make them this thin looking, and they're just not that good. And I mean, she just doesn't look great. She's all lags, that's another thing I never really mentioned. Look how much lag there is going here. But it's just, she's not that great. She's just an alright figure. And honestly, she gets like a 2. She gets a 2 out of 5. That's what she gets. She, she doesn't need any higher than that. She's already in the worst line from Brime Wars by a mile and a half. Not to mention the figure just isn't good and it's just not very good. And the combiner is literally just four of this mold. That's it. This has been my review on Power of the Primes Moon Racer. This has been Ilth, Ilth Elite, signing out.